Hundreds became thousands this morning when protesters marched against Georgia's new anti-abortion law, which bans abortions once a fetal heartbeat is detected. Protesters met at the Capitol just before noon today, then marched a few blocks in the heat of the day to the Richard Russell Federal Building. 11 Alive's Elwin Lopez joins us live with the story. And Elwin, this was the second such rally in Atlanta this week. Yeah, Ryan, it was a second rally, and it's an issue that's very personal on both sides. And this Memorial Day weekend, protesters against the restrictive abortion law brave the heat to make themselves heard. Abortion is a human right. Abortion is a human right. We're not going without a fight. It's the second protest in a week. Everyone has a right to decide to have an abortion or not have an abortion, depending on what their belief system is. But it's not right for the government to make that decision for all of us. This is not just a fight for abortion. This is a fight for the autonomy of all people. My body, my choice. Thousands marched in the 90 degree weather against the new abortion law. I feel like we're going backwards in time instead of forwards. And uh, yeah, it's unacceptable. Governor Kemp signed the so-called heartbeat bill, which bans abortion once a fetal heartbeat is detected. That could be as early as six weeks. Yeah. I'm going to be here screaming and yelling along with all of these other people until we have rights to our bodies and rights to our reproductive systems. And that law is set to go into effect in January unless it's blocked. A federal judge blocked a similar law in Mississippi on Friday. That law was set to take effect in July. And Alabama passed a near total ban on abortion earlier this month. Ryan. Elwin, thank you. Now, people on both sides see the bigger agenda here. That is the challenge of Roe versus Wade. So let's recap exactly what Roe v. Wade established. At its core, the ruling established a pregnant woman's right to choose is protected under the 14th Amendment's right to privacy. But it also said that must be balanced between protecting a woman's health and protecting prenatal life. So the Supreme Court broke it down by trimesters. For the first trimester, the government could not prohibit abortions at all. In the second, the government could require reasonable health regulations in order to have one. And in a woman's third trimester, abortions could be prohibited entirely, except in cases necessary to save a woman's life. Now, Georgia's heartbeat law would greatly alter that, with most abortions prohibited after a fetal heartbeat is detected. That's usually around six weeks at the very beginning of the first trimester.